hi guys it's kerry and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be filming a haul of things i have accumulated over the past couple of weeks and yeah without further ado i'm just gonna get straight into the video so the first place i'm gonna start with is boots just because i am the most excited for this stuff if you are a fan of the Juvia's Place makeup, at the moment, I'm not sure whether it's the same in all boots or whether it's just mine. However, I'm letting you know so you can go and have a look. All of the Juvia's Place stuff in my boots was half price. I picked up three things. I picked up the eyebrow pencil. This is the... I can't see because the clearance sticker's on it. Uh, I sculpt I shade brow pencil and it looks like a very thin one which as you know I like because my eyebrows are awful I hate doing eyebrows I think I, I think most people hate doing eyebrows and I can understand why I used to not mind them however since I've started trying to get better at them I'm like yeah I understand why people don't like them as much it looks like Sometime today would be nice. Looks like this. As you can see, it's a really thin nib. I'm just going to... I was going to go for the shade Ebony. However, I'm glad I picked up the shade Dark Brown. As you can see, it's very thin. And I'm excited to try this. And I hope it becomes my favorite, new favourite eyebrow pencil. We'll have to see whether it matches with the blade brow from Relove Revolution. But yeah, this was, I believe, it used to be £12, but they'd got it down to £6. So I picked that up. I also picked up something I haven't opened yet. Picked up the Juvia's Place Eyeshadow Primer. Because I do not own an eyeshadow primer for priming my eyelids. I use concealer, which is not the best thing in the world. And I am going to invest in some glitter glue as well. Because I love shimmery eyeshadow. And I find that, yeah, they're alright on their own. But I've seen loads of people use glitter glue. And they seem amazing. So this is what it looks like. This is in the shade number two. But it's not the end of the world for me. Just... I recommend when you get the uh, eye primer, you give it a shake just because it's separated from where it's been sat in the box in the shop. Yeah, that was much better. So it looks like this right here. And I'm just going to... So as you can see it's quite dark however I believe I could work with that so yeah I didn't <laughs> didn't I was a goose and I didn't look at the shades so yeah and I believe that this was six pounds too it was either six or seven pounds I do not have the price on it at the moment unfortunately so yeah but yeah, I thought that these were good little bargains. And then finally from Juvia's Place, I got the Berries by Juvia's eyeshadow palette. It comes with four mattes and two shimmers, which is perfect. I absolutely love these colours, uh, especially the middle two. I would use that as a transition, that is the main colour, and then I'd probably use that all over the lid. The purple ones are okay. I'm not really a purple fan. However, I will make use with it. So, yeah. And I believe that this was... It was £14 and it's gone down to 7 So, yeah. Of course, I love a good sale. So, as soon as I saw it, I picked it up. And then the last thing I got from Boots, and I literally just got this because it's pineapple. I got the Heart, I Heart Revolution pineapple spray it smells like a hospital i'm not gonna lie so if you don't like that sort of spray smell don't get it 
However, it will be interesting to see how it works. So I will be doing a testing video on the four products I have bought. And I will probably do a wear test on TikTok with this. Any social media platform that I mention in this video, I will link in the description as well as prices and everything will be in the description too. I'm going to move on to a shop called Savers and I'm, I'm saying it like that because not many people know what Savers are. But I've seen one in every town that I've been to and they are a little cheap shop. And I got a couple of things from there. I first got some spot zapping gel from T-Zone. I absolutely love this stuff. It is, it has 5% witch hazel, 2% niacinamide, 1% salicylic acid and 1% tea tree oil. I absolutely love it. Rapid action, four hours. But yeah, you just apply this. I apply this as the last step in my skincare routine just because I find that it's thicker than the rest of my products and yeah i really like it i've got three of these because i couldn't find them anywhere for three months i went for i went like a month without it and my skin got bad again i was like oh please and then i spotted it in savers and i was like hell yeah i'm picking it up the next two things aren't beauty related but they are health related and i like promoting healthy stuff so the first thing i got was this travel toothbrush holder because i currently don't have a toothbrush pot in the bathroom i use this to make sure that no sh sh nasty bacteria or anything gets onto my toothbrush and it just leans up in my cupboard so yeah i believe that was a pound um the t-zone stuff was one pound 49 each and I, like i said i've got three of them and then the last thing I got from Savers was a new toothpaste. Because I have braces, my teeth are so sensitive. I can't even eat most things without having pain. So I got the Colgate Sensitive Instant Relief Whitening Toothpaste. Just because, obviously the camera doesn't give it any justice at the moment. But the other day I noticed that my teeth are actually quite white. I haven't been whitening them or anything. I can't be bothered with anything like that. If my teeth aren't white... Oh well, not everyone has white teeth. In the in the real in the real world, people don't have white teeth. Yellow teeth happens, staining. I drink a lot of coffee. If my teeth go yellow, it's probably because of the coffee. And it doesn't matter what how much you whiten your teeth. Your teeth are going to be yellow at some point. So it's okay. It doesn't mean that you have bad teeth if you've got yellow teeth. However, I got the whitening toothpaste just because i want to keep on top of the nice pearly white smell that i've got at the moment which isn't the whitest thing in the world but you know white teeth are white teeth whether they are shade one or shade ten it's still white so yeah and i believe i was one pound i'm not 100 percent sure but i will let uh, like i said prices will be linked below so yeah that is the smallest section i'm now going to move on to bnm I got a couple of things from B&M for my dog. If you don't want to see this bit, just get past. However, my dog is a big part of my life. And if I buy anything for my dog, I will do a haul on it. Um, I'm sure some people would like that. So the first thing I got was this Boo 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 jumper thing. It's got a little spider on it. And if you see any dog fur, he's already worn it. So don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, it's in the shape, it's in the size medium. And I believe it was six pounds. But like I've said, he's already used it. Because I had to try it on. And uh, I've lost the price, the thing with the price on. But I'm pretty sure it was six pounds. The two coats that I got in, which will be on Instagram soon. Um... They were £8 and I believe the jumper and the next thing was £6. So yeah, it's a nice purple one. The next thing is probably the most exciting thing for me because it means that Christmas is coming quicker. And that is because B&M have got their dog wear out for Christmas. And I wanted to get this my dog last Christmas. However, I got us matching Mickey Mouse pyjamas from Primark last year instead. So yeah, 
what I've decided this year is I'm going to use these. So this is his little Christmas pyjamas. Because I have red Mickey Mouse pyjamas, we're going to wear those Christmas Eve night when he opens his little goodie bag. And oh, when I say opens it, I mean I give him his goodie bag with all these tree toes and stuff like that in it. Um, and we will wear them matching pyjamas and then when I get up the next morning I will change pyjamas and I will put him into a different pyjamas. I'll put him in the Primark ones that I got him last year. I would put those ones on him the Christmas Eve night however he can't sleep with them because it's velcro down there. He tends to open it and then it comes off and then he ends up getting tangled in it and he ends up hurting himself. So yeah, we've decided to go for the safer route and go for the actual dog pyjamas that he's used to wearing. So yeah, so that is the dog section of this done. If you would like to see more of my dog, let me know in the comments if you would like me to do a meet me animals sort of thing and I will show you my cat and my dog. Try to, but we will figure it out. Um, I will probably be posting him a bit on TikTok as well, so if you want to see more of him go on tiktok and also i will leave both my dog and my cat's instagram in the description below you heard me right both of my animals have their own instagram and there's nothing wrong with that however some people would call me crazy my mum and my dad and everyone else called me crazy but you know we, we move <laughs> so yeah the next two things i got were actually pretty important because i go through bed in like I don't know like I go through my coffee probably not that much but um sheets I definitely go through because obviously I'm a woman sometimes I don't keep it all together I cry a lot sometimes I have an accident because my bladder is really 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 small for what it should be and also I have animals, they often have accidents. I have a cat, they can sometimes bring up hairballs. I eat in my bed a lot as well. So I got this double fitted sheet from B&M. And this is the Silent Night one. It's just in a navy color, as you can see it was eight pounds. It feels really nice, it just feels like a sheet. So yeah, I picked one of those off. If you hear a phone going off in the background, that is my phone. Ignore it, please. I forgot to put it on silent. But oh well, we're human, we move. And then I also got a Lincoln Marble duvet set from B&M as well. And this was £18. Again, in the shape, in, this is the double size. And this is just, it's reversible. I love B&M bedding which is currently on my bed right now. I believe this was £12. However, me and my partner have decided we're not going grey in our house. We want to go black marble. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, it's perfect. I'm going to look after it. <laughs> now, the next couple of things that I'm going to show you are actually for the background of my video. As you can see, it's not the best at the moment. I'm working on it. Um, I have a sheen parcel currently on its way at some point within the next couple of weeks. As soon as that gets here, I will do a small little haul on that and add it on my shorts. It probably won't be big enough for an actual video. However, I will put it as a short and it does have a couple more things in for the background of my videos. So just bear with me. <laughs> so I got a little spooky ghost which lights up. But because I film my videos in the day, you probably won't see the light up effect in the background of my videos. So I will probably just have him looking like his spooky self. And this will be going this side. This was £2. And, and the last thing that I'm going to show you from b and uh, I do also have a couple other things from B&M. Just a couple of air fresheners. But I'm not going to show those. No point. Um, if you want to know... Let ask and I'll let you know which ones they are. But yeah, I got a mini gonk. 
as you can see obsessed with them i even have a hanging thing up there which i put on my door for christmas which has gonks on it um so yeah that is everything from b and m and i'm going to get on to the main section of the video and that is primark so i just want to give a mention to the insoles from primark i also like the small little cushion things with the stickers on it they're currently in my boots i had to put them straight in my boots because uh my last ones were disgusting but yeah one pound fifty for some insoles that go up to a size 12 they're amazing so yeah they come in black and white because obviously different shoes have different color insoles and so yeah promise you this is the last thing i'm going to show you for my woofer however i have to show you this because i know everyone with dog lovers will want to see it again it's from primark can you guess what it is it's jack skellington he's gonna be jack skellington from halloween i just need to take all the tag bits out this was eight pound from primark and it's in the size medium for anyone who needs to know for the future videos and he will not be wearing it until halloween obviously i've tried it on him which is why the labels and stuff aren't aren't open on open definitely what i meant to say but yeah it's it's nice and warm as well it's not like a thin material it's nice and fluffy so it's perfect for winter and he likes hoodies and stuff like that so it's basically just a jacket but it's jack skeleton ready for halloween when it comes to long sleeve tops i don't usually like the feeling of long sleeves so what i normally do is because i prefer hoodies and stuff like that i get thinner long sleeve tops so that if i do get too hot with the hoodie and that on i don't have to put a vest on underneath and be absolutely freezing this gives the right amount of warmth whilst i'm inside however it also makes an amazing layer to go under hoodies or coats or anything like that speaking of coats i know i'm going off rails here if anyone has any suggestions for affordable warm fluffy coats which are also waterproof leave them in the uh, leave them in the comments because my coat at the moment it's a bit old but it's also not warm enough for me and also because it's been through the wash a few times it's no longer waterproof and i still get absolutely drenched and obviously having a dog it doesn't matter what weather it is you have to take your dog on a walk. I know I haven't been well over the past couple of weeks, so he's had, he's had a little bit of a break. Although he's not missed out on his exercise because he is because he's a collie cross. He's very active. He loves playing with balls. So I've just been throwing the ball outside for him, and that's been his form of exercise. I've also been giving him licky mats as well to help with the brain stuff. But that's 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 irrelevant. Yeah, if anyone has any uh, good recommendations for coats please let me know i need one but yeah so i got this white one i got a beautiful pink one because anyone that knows me will know that i am obsessed with the color pink i don't know whether the switch case in the back and the gonk let's let it off you know also my glasses are actually pink <laughs> but yeah i got a really nice like beigey colour which I thought were perfect for autumn before I forget these were £8 each so they are okay prices but I'd say they're worth it <laughs> I got a grey one I went for mostly neutral colours because then I can put it with whatever outfit and stuff like that so yeah a black one because we all need a black one and then I got this because I didn't know whether I'd like it, but it turns out it's actually one of my favourites. But it's a really dark brown one. I love them. And I will add a clip in somewhere. Ignore the background of the try on clip. It's not the best, but it will do. You can see me and I can see you. So these are the t-shirts. They come about mid hips so they don't cover me bum but they're long enough and yeah 
Um, even with the white one, I find that they're not actually that bad. Obviously, with the animals, I took a risk with the white one. Um, I'm not going to try on all of the colours. However, you get to see what these are. The thing I'm going to show you are my favourite, favourite, favourite thing I've bought from Primark this year. I've bought a lot from Primark this year, but this is my favourite. And they are disappeared uh some fluffy leggings i will show you the blue ones in the try on clip because i'm currently wearing them so i'll show you those ones when i try them on however i also got the charcoal ones i got two pairs of the black ones however i've already used one pair of the black ones so they're in the wash at the moment they're both exactly the same nice and fluffy and a great pair and then these are the leggings um i really like these leggings i like these leggings but they're very long so i can put them over my ankle so yeah this is the try on clip um so yeah one thing i will say about these leggings is size up Unless you like really, really tight fitted clothes, I would suggest you to size up because the size that I've got on right now is a large, extra large, and normally I would be a medium to large. However, these fit me perfectly, so I know that the medium to large would be too, too tight on me. I'm also autistic, so it also involves a lot of sensory stuff. So in order for me to feel comfortable i it has to be i can't wear baggy trousers uh, i either wear leggings or skinny jeans or shorts um so anything that's it either has to be touching me or not on me at all otherwise autism says no um but yeah just like the tops they have to be a specific material and stuff like that so i find these are perfect because they're not overly sensory i think that is now it for this video actually so i'm going to end this video here uh please give this a thumbs up if you like this haul um it was very it was a new experience for me because I don't know whether I've done a haul before. However, I really enjoyed it. So if you would like to see more of these, then please let me know. Also, if you have any video ideas for the next, for October, please let me know. Because obviously October is Halloween season. I will be doing uh, four different makeup looks. So one each week. And I'm going to hopefully try and get them in before uh, Halloween. One of them might be just after Halloween, depending on how the schedule falls. I'm trying to upload every Wednesday at 12pm now. Um, so I'm going to do some makeup looks this year. Um, so yeah, if you like what you see and you aren't already please subscribe it would be absolute i would really appreciate it actually i like really appreciate it i'm 21 in uh january so hopefully we can try and get 100 subscribers before i turn 21 that is a challenge but we will see how we go obviously if we don't get 100 it's not the end of the world but we'll, we'll see how we go i believe in you but yeah and I think that is everything I have to say. So enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.